I guess I'll just start it off plain and simple. What was it like to finally be on the field with the pads on, everyone going for the first time, I would assume, since going into the Texans playoff game? Man, it felt good. It felt good. You know, I think guys were anxious to get out there. You could feel the energy out there. And, uh, you know, I think coaches do a good job of making everything competitive. And uh, I think guys were competing out there and, and just getting out there. You know, we was getting better. Uh, I think it was a productive day and looking to build up on it now. Did it feel like the one moment maybe during all of this that things were actually normal? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we play, fo we play football with pads on, man. So this was the first time, like you said, we've been in pads since the, the playoff game. And it's been a very long time. And, I mean, just to be out there and just lying around, just to actually, you know, hit each other. I mean, that's the game that we play. And uh, I think guys felt good with that. And, you know, it's going to take some getting used to again. <laughs> Let's not, you know, just – Simple as that, because, you know, it's just been a while since we've really been out there competing against each other. So it's going to take some use to and, you know, getting our legs underneath us. But it's a good feeling. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm very pleased with how it got the closer to this. I know we were glad to, to watch it. Good, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> HMA, Mike Catalan in Rochester. Um, everybody talks about the depth in your D-line and the pass rushers that you have and where that rush is going to come from. Where do you fit? in the pass rush. Over the last couple of years, you've shown flashes. Obviously, you got safety, made big plays there. But do you think that, based on scheme, can be a bigger part of your game going after the quarterback? You have so many responsibilities defensively. But will that change, do you think, going forward? You know, I think the coaches do a good job of, you know, putting us in position to make plays. Uh, you know, my skill set, I could do that, you know. Um, you know, I've never limited myself to things that I could do. And, uh, you know, my body type, I know that I could be productive on that as well. But like I said, I mean, our coaches put us in good positions to make plays. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to put me in a good position to make plays out, out there as well. So, you know, if that if that comes down to it, you know, I'm all, I'm all open to it. But, uh, you know, as of right now, man, I'm just doing, you know, what they want me to do out there. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to get better with the things they're asking me to do. So if that comes with it, then you know, I'm going to get better with that as well. And talk about what they want you to do. Do you ever think to yourself going back to the rookie year and the difference in how you must feel now, stepping on the field, preparing yourself to play and running this defense compared to where it was when you know, you're just out there on the field for the first time and, and, and trying to learn and react at the same time? Yeah, so I, I think it's confidence. I mean – I think it's normal for somebody that's, you know, just stepping into a situation to not exactly have the amount of confidence they want. And you know, I'm a very confident person, man, but, you know, it's about you had to, I had to, you know, get adjusted to it and, you know, learn the system and, you know, get back to my normal self so I can play fast like I wanted to. And, uh, you know, now it's just like, you know, my confidence level is, is, is real high. It's, but it's always something that we always can get better with. I mean, that's with everybody in life. I mean, you know, I'm my, I'm my hardest critic. So, you know, I know out there when I mess up on something, I know things that I have to get better with. And, you know, I'm going to continue to doing that. And, you know, I think I have a good group of guys around me that's going to push me to be the best that I could be. And, uh, you know, that's my that's, that's the thing that I fear. I don't want to let those guys down. So I'm going to make sure that I, you know, continue to get better with something and continue to improve on things to, you know, ultimately have, you know, uh, help the team out. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Tremaine, Thad Brown, WRC and Rochester, appreciate your time. Harrison Phillips was on a little while ago talking about how emotional it was for him to be on the field today after what he went through with the rehab and everything. For you guys on the defense, knowing what he went through and to make it all the way back to today where he's full go in pads, working out with you guys today, what kind of an impact does it have on, you know, the defensive teammates seeing him back on the field? Yeah, I think guys, you know, really appreciate the hard work that he's put in. I think he's done a very good job of, you know, being that pro and doing everything that he had to do to get back on the field. And, uh, I mean, you can see it. I mean, just his mindset, you know, the way that he works, the way he coaches the game. He always asks me questions like, you know, just trying to, you know, become more from, you know, become more familiar with what's going on out there, you know, from a linebacker perspective. And, you know, you could just see the amount of work that he's put in, you know, how he's taking care of his body, just trying to be out there. And I know it's emotional for him, man. It's always emotional coming back on injuries like that and just, being out there with your brothers, man, because that's the, that's the greatest thing about this game, man, being out there with the guys that you, you know, you go to work with every single day. And, uh, you know, we're happy to have him back out there, man. And, you know, Harry, he, he, he's working hard, man, and I know he's going to, you know, put his best foot forward. Cool. Thanks, Jermaine. Appreciate it. Yeah.
Hey, Tremaine, Matt Perino from uh, Syracuse.com. Uh, thanks for taking a few moments. Um, you know, this is, you talked about like going through this process and getting the pads back on and, you know, it, it, you got to kind of walk before you can run. With all these kind of new pieces all over the place, you know, on the D-line, AJ uh, with you guys uh, in the linebackers group and uh, Josh Norman back there, how long is it going to take you guys, you know, to where you're feeling comfortable from a communication standpoint, et cetera, uh, heading into a very shortened preparation period before the season starts? Yeah, so I think it's hard for you to kind of put a time on that. Uh, that's what camp is about. You know, you go through camp and for that communication, it's going to be new guys there, it's going to be new things you have to accomplish. And that's what this time is for. So, I mean, I don't know exactly how long it'll take, um, but I can see now that every single day is getting a little bit better. And, you know, as long as that's happening, I mean, that's our goal is, is to improve on that stuff each and every day to, you know, develop that team chemistry, to develop that team bond every single day. So when we get out there on Sundays or, you know, whatever, whatever day we play on, that we know that we can count on each other. And that's what time is right now is developing that trust, building that trust. So, you know, once it comes game time and, you know, the game is on the line, you know that we can depend on each other. Thanks, Jermaine. Hey, Tremaine, Josh Reed here. Great to see you back out there on the field. The um, Just what, what about just the idea of returning to competition a little bit and just kind of getting those juices flowing. Had a chance to see Josh Norman make some plays on the defensive side of the ball. The guys got fired up. The end of practice, John Brown catches the long ball. The offense gets fired up. How nice is it just to be back out and competing with people? Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what we play this game for, man, is to compete. And, you know, you know, I'm a I'm a competitor myself. So anytime stuff like that happens, man, you love to see it. I mean, you know, we you know, at the end of the day, we're one team. So when the offense has success out there, obviously I'm gonna be mad, but at the end of the day, man, it's hoping this team. I mean, you know, we we're we're helping each other out, offense and defense, man. We're making each other better. And that's the goal of, you know, training camp, man, is to make each other better. So when we go out there on, you know, the days that we play, man, and we could just dominate. And um, I think that that's the whole thing, man. We just want to compete and, um, you know, just continue to strive for excellence, man, and, you know, continue to see big things out of each side of the ball. You know, I think we're only going to be as good as we, you know, we push each other. So that's the biggest thing, man. We just got to continue to push each other out here and, you know, get the best out of each, each side of the ball, including special teams. I think special teams do a good job of, you know, competing out there. You know, I, I see a lot of juice out there from all those guys. So, I think it's just guys out there having fun, man. I mean, it's a competitive sport we play. And uh, anytime that you can have fun with it, man, it just makes it 10 times better. And I think we do a good job of that here. Did you sneak a peek at 14 at all during practice? And uh, how, did, how does he make the offense look on the other side of the ball, or on, the, on the other side? I mean, to be honest with you, coming from a defensive player, I, mean, I think, to be honest, I think all those guys over there are, are competing. I just think, you know, it's not just him. It's, it's all those guys. I mean, I think a lot of guys are, you know, they made strides over the off season to, to get better and to, uh, you know, to develop their craft. And um, you can see it out there. It's, it's, it's evident. And, um, you know, it's a good thing to see. Awesome. Thank you, Tremaine. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Hey, Tremaine, Sal Capaccio, WGR. Good to see you. This may have been asked already. I apologize. I just jumped on this call a moment ago, but um, we were able to speak with Harrison Phillips a little while ago and, and he talked about, you know, getting back with you guys 330 days later. What's it mean for you guys to see Harrison back there and, uh, you know, be able to get back on the field again? Yeah. So, yeah, they actually did. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's good, man. I was Like I was saying earlier, Harrison, he's a, he's a hard worker, man. Just to see, you know, everything that he's gone through the rebound from this and still had that mindset of, you know, coming out here and, and, and with the mindset to get better and still be self-motivated, man, is you don't take that stuff for granted. So, you know, we're happy to have him out here. Um, you know, happy to be, you know, going to work with him each and every day. So, you know, it's just about now just continuing to get better, you know, continue to, you know, get stronger and um, just going to work.